Okay, so here's the follow-up to the uh, Squire base. I don't know, Squire Fender. How's that? It's not fake. That's a real Fender uh, neck. It's a maxi neck. Okay. There's a body, and we have the Geezer Butler EMGs, and I've been told they're passive. And uh, let's have a look at the tuners. Flip her around. They are. Focus, please. They're shalers. And he tells me they work darn near as good as the ones on his USA made jazz bass. Oh, here, here's how it, his Mexi neck you can see by the serial number MX16 2016. Almost brand new. It'd be kind of hard to get to 2017 right now, probably. Um, one thing had to do with that neck when it came nut slots. They're supposed to be pre cut. Well, they're sort of cut. There's nubs where they go. And now this one here, I, we're not going to take credit for this. This credit goes all to Will Galvin. Homemade nut slot files. Focus, please. Look at this. You know what this shit is? This shit is um, adhesive backed 320 grit sandpaper wound around pieces of bass guitar string. And it worked freaking amazing. Did work amazing, right? Yes, it did. Okay, let's hear how it sounds and let's hear how the new amp stack sounds. Oh, check, no. check that amp back there. Look at the size of that freaking thing. This is like used. This is like vintage PV gear. What's this, like early 2000s? Yep. Early 2000s PV gear. Look at that. It's almost as big as he is. And he's like 6'2", so that's big. Let's hear what it does. Thunderfingers out.